Welcome back, adventurers. Episode 11. Last episode, we spent pretty much the entirety of the episode in this Giff Yankee crash. Things didn't really go as planned, so there's a lot of blood pretty much everywhere you go in this place. And now we find ourselves somewhere in the back of the crash. And I think we're working on this quest right here. We found an oddly shaped crest that belonged to a high priest of Lathander. Perhaps it can help us find the blood of Lathander. So we're searching for the blood of Lathander somewhere in this crash area. And there's a little bit of a puzzle down here that I did figure out. So we can get into the next room and then I have no idea what awaits us after that. But first, let's go ahead and talk to Lazel because last episode was really, really important with Lazel's character as we met the Lich Queen of the Githyanki, Blacketh. So... Lazel was unable to fulfill Queen Vlacketh's command. We should talk to her. So Vlacketh wanted us to kill the Guardian, who is apparently inside that prism artifact that we have. And we decided not to kill the Guardian. So let's see what Lazel has to say about that. I am Vlacketh's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Your own queen appears to have turned against you. That can't bode well for any of us. She tests me. A trial of faith. Kaleer prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlacketh's favor yet. All this, and you still stand by Blacketh. No, we're not going to call her stupid. I don't like that play on this particular run. You're an enemy of your people now, Lazel. You need to accept that. Silence! Oh my god. I must think. Yeah, okay. Damn, okay. Okay, let's head on down here. And I found out that if you damage the statues, Firebolt works great. This one will now be able to move if you failed your athletics check, like I did. And then if we move him around a little bit... Not really sure why you have to make them face... One faces to the east and the other one to the west? Oh! I get it now! One's facing to the east and one's facing to the west. So the sun rises and the sun sets. It literally just clicked with me. Lathander blesses the rising bountiful sun. Oh my gosh. Lathander bids the setting <laughs> sun a fond farewell. I just figured out the puzzle um, when I wasn't recording. But I, all I did was just move the statues around. I didn't even think. Rising sun and setting sun. That's great. The great puzzle. Okay. We got an update on our quest here. We moved some ancient Lathandrian statues and a secret passageway opened. We should see what lies within. I should probably rest at some point. I mean, go, no spell slots with my cleric, but... I do have arcane recovery, though. Okay, let's go check this out. Don't waste a step. I think I gotta get the... I need to get a cape for my ranger. He looks kind of silly right now. We gotta dye his armor later too. Oh man, I keep misclicking on things. There we have it. The son of Lathander. Has this place escaped my people's notice all this time? Embarrassing. Okay. There's an energy source right there. We can shoot it. And knock it up there.
Okay, well, let's see what happens. I don't know about you all, but that kind of feels like a trap to me. <laughs> it's called the Dawn Breaker. Never a dawn. We have the Dawn Master's Crest. Okay. Do I test it out a little bit? I could send the zo let's send the zombie out. That's why I have the undead summons. Oh god, that, I, I literally jumped because of that. You know what, I'm gonna let, we're gonna go back into real-time mode and test this out a little bit. Not even doing anything. Oh my god! Okay. what we got zombies for, right? We have to get through this one somehow. I jump over here? Looks like we got another one. Let's get on with it. This way. Hopefully we can disarm it. Uh-oh. Don't know if I have any more thieves tools. Oh, I have one inspiration point? No, 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 no. Or trap disarm tools. I don't think I can use it. This game has too many intense moments. I don't want to use an inspiration point on a trap. Okay, so there's that little crystal down there, which is the same as the one we destroyed in the first room, so... Hmm. Let's try something here. Oh my god, this is crazy. Actually, maybe I'll use Gale. This, this could be bad. This could be real bad. Alright, so I need to get over there. So let's go into turn-based mode. We get the first turn. I don't even know if I can see it from right here. Oh, we can go down here. Oh, that's great. Okay. Trap is still active, though. <laughs> I don't know if... This thing's gonna... I don't think it's gonna hit me when I'm out here. I think we're okay. Oh, Let's duck down just in case. Get behind the rock. Okay, so... I think we're good here. Can't go inside the room itself, maybe? Oh, crap! Gotta be really careful with grouping my characters together here, because Gale will come back. <laughs> I'll have him separated from the chain here. Alright, we should be able to move everybody else. What is he doing? Oh my god, I... I, I screwed it up. I thought Shadowheart was Gale. <laughs> okay, get back over there. 
there is work to do. Okay, we made it. That was intense. Oh, oh my god, bear. Oh my god, can you guys imagine right there if there was just like the slow-mo scene and my bear was coming to greet my ma his master wolf and then he just gets thunder waved into a rock. Still alive. Man, this is oh my god, this is so this is so fun. Wow. Blood of Lathander. Man, I don't, I don't, I mean, Lathander is a good god, but I, I'm a little bit worried here without having spell slots on Gale and Shadow. Go for it. Forgot to organize my inventory before I started up the recording. Looks like a shadow heart weapon right there. Okay, so we found the blood of Lathander. There it is right here. Oh my gosh, this is our first legendary weapon. I gotta write this down. This is episode 11. First legendary weapon we've ever seen in BG3. 8 to 13 damage once per long rest. When your hit points are reduced to zero, you regain 2 to 12 hit points. Allies within 30 feet also regain 1 to 6. Holy cow. Lathander's light sheds holy light in a 20 foot radius in combat. Fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded. This is powerful. And the great thing is, Shadowheart can use it. Whoa! Oh man, that's so cool. I'm not sure how Shadow would feel about using like another god's weapon, but wow. Checking it again. Once per long rest, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you gain two to twelve hit points. That's like the half orc racial feature, except better. And then it's also an AoE heal on top of that. That is incredible. And you get light too, so this is really good for characters that don't have dark vision. We use the Dawnmaster's Crest to safely retrieve the blood of the Thander. Morning Lord be praised. Okay. I think okay, I think we're good to push on with I've got a long road ahead. the next main quest. I think we're pretty much good at the Githyanki Crash. So we can fast travel out of here. Find the missing shipment. Yankee warrior, pale elf. Yeah, travel to Moonrise Towers. The dream visitor told us to go to Moonrise Towers. You might find answers there about our parasites. Dream visitor told us that the true soul parasite can enhance us if we absorb its potential. All right, so let's go to camp from here. And we're going to leave the Githyanki area. I think we've done everything. I mean, there's a lot of items and secrets to be discovered here, but I'll do that on another run.
You must have questions. The crash training room was illuminating. Are Gith instructors always so brutal? My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kaleer had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Mm -hmm. For what reason? Rage? Entertainment? Survival. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Now let's ask Lazelle about the disc from the crash. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too and considers the vision. Tirsu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but there's a common speech translation beneath, carved in a different hand. It's a story about... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Who's Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. That's fine. I'll read it on my own time. If you must. Nothing good can come of it. <laughs> Is it me or have you been looking at me differently? I'm not going to say that right now. I'm going to have to do an entire lore video on the Githyanki crush here and delve deeper into Orpheus in the future. All right, let's uh, let's have a chat with everybody. See where everybody's mind is at. Thank Mistra for that. Can't say I was enamored with the thought of spending my final moments buried under a thousand tons of limestone. How are you feeling? It can't be easy facing the possibility of death. Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Let me turn up the vibe. I know we're on episode 11 now, but I feel like the game volume might be a little bit too low compared to my voice. Let's take sound effects, put them down to 80, and then do master volume up to, we'll say, 87. User interface probably go down to 95. Yeah, I think I'm probably good with that. Voice volume is maxed out. Adjust the volume of ambient gameplay dialogue. Yeah, sure, we'll boost that up a little bit. That crash would be a smoking ruin if it wasn't for us. Still, better move along. I don't want to test the limits of Gith Yankee gratitude. Me either. I'm getting a lot of, uh, you know, dialogue options that hint towards seeking romance with these characters now. Obviously, I'm glad we didn't level the monastery with that sun cannon, but. Oh, come on! You can't say you weren't a little curious to see what would happen. <laughs> We're not all as messed up as you, Astarion. Fair. Rude, but fair. Ah, my good... F Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just... Too close for comfort, but thanks to some quick thinking, the Githyanki crash is still standing. Okay, beautiful. 
You wish to speak? I still don't. I I just don't know. Is those of you guys that are playing is can Helson join your group? I think he's just like perma bugged on my account or on my files. He hasn't done anything. I, he's supposed to be a, comp a companion that you can recruit to your group. Ooh, thought this place was going to blow. We'll live to fight another day. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. <laughs> what about you? I'd be in the middle of another adventure. Blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Okay. I'm playing tactician right now on my live streams and it costs 80 camp supplies to rest. All right, so we are going to probably teleport out of the crush now. I don't think I want to go back into it. RP-wise, it doesn't seem smart to... Uh, they have all the Gith Yankee turn on me. So let's go ahead and... Do, we will teleport to the monastery. All right, what now? And I think there's one more thing I wanted to check out here. Is that a curiosity? There was an area below the monastery that you could get to. Now I don't know where I'm at anymore. Those apples? Such a beautiful game. Huh. I actually don't know where I'm at anymore. Oh, I forgot to get the freaking cloak, man. Prayer to Lathander. Pilgrim's Curse. A note, okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Oh, so the entrance to the monastery is right here. So there is like an under... Oh, man. Should we go check that out real fast? Go check it out real fast. I don't mind a little bit of a uh, little bit of adventuring, you know. I'm surprised I haven't found any cloaks besides the Red Prince one. Let's go ahead and call in Fern. How are you, girl? Let's go check this out real fast. And then we're going to head towards the Shadow Curse lands. I might even walk back to them just to see if we didn't if we didn't miss anything important. But what I was looking at before was this. Looks like you can get down here. I think there might be a way in the Yep, right over here. Let's give that a try. My character's gonna go inside the monastery. I'm gonna sit here and wait for him. Wow, they're going. Oh my god. They go all the way to the back. <laughs> it's so funny watching them. Little ants. My bear didn't come though. He said, no way. And here they come. So funny.
And I'm assuming this just leads into where the Githy Yankee crash was. It's just another way to get in, maybe a back entrance. Whoa, that's a crazy jump right there. I feel like I'm playing a platformer right now. Got some arrows. Elixir of Vigilance. Drink to gain a plus five bonus to initiative. Does it last for a long rest, though? Only one way to find out. Yep, last until a long rest. Okay, cool. Elminster's not around. Look at Shadowheart's new weapon. What's next, I wonder? That's amazing. I hate that the Githy Yankee armor is so good, because I think it's so ugly. I don't want to wear it with Shadowheart, but I also want I to do? the 15 AC. Got to press on. Wow, that's like a thumbnail right there. Okay, I'm happy that we came down here. Looks like that's all there is, so let's go ahead and... Report back there. Let's head to... Still a little bit lost. <laughs> okay, so here's that. Yeah, we'll go back on that. Looks like we explored mostly everything. This is another path if you didn't succeed on your checks to get the cable car wheel to work. And I'm going to save that for another run. Or we can just go back that way right now. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Oh, actually. Huh. Oh, no. The path is down here. Here it is. We'll check it out. Better take that. It looks like we have a blue jay up here. What to do? Best be on my way. Oh, I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. Did someone steal something from you? Steal? Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. Circle of life, right? <laughs> That's exactly how it works, and it's my turn. That doesn't sound fair. It's not bloody fair. I got there first. The eagles don't even need it. <laughs> uh, surely the eagles need a nest as much as you. Not on top of the monastery, they don't. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. Try and figure out what these lizards might be. Damn. Alcoholic lizards didn't show up much in your studies of the natural world. Okay, so this is actually a quest to go deal with the eagles. Interesting. I decided to let the eagles live. So we're just going to let the uh, circle of life take its course. But that's pretty cool. If I took this way to the monastery, oh man, oh gosh, I'm running, I'm running through traps right now. If I took this path to the monastery in the beginning, I would have had that side quest, basically to kill the eagles, or I don't know, if maybe you can scare them away or something. Yes. Traps everywhere, dude. 
Get me out of here. Okay, and we're back actually. It wasn't that long of a path. You know, the crazy thing is, I don't know for sure, but I think this is still Act 1. Who is this? Hello? Who's that? Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Scalable architecture. Good vantage points. Looks empty. Perfect ambush spot. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is mm. swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid... <laughs> Chucky. Your charming companion would call it a creche. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. This is interesting because we have that egg. Why would you want one of their eggs? The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. <laughs> Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Hmm. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. <laughs> Wasn't Lazel the one that stole it when I was playing earlier? This is a this isn't necessarily out of order, because this lady doesn't know that we already went to the crash. But it definitely would have been nice to talk to her first, just like the bird. So definitely make sure you guys explore everything in the area before you push on. Now I'm so tempted to give her the egg. But I don't think it's the right thing to do right now. Do you have any equipment worth trading? I should hope so. When adventure calls, I am always thoroughly prepared. Take a look. We might have to buy some dye, actually. Wound closure. When downed, automatically stabilized at the start of the turn. Potent healing. Maximizing. That's so cool, man. They have some crazy items in this game. The Graceful Cloth. You gain Cat's Grace and increase your dexterity score by 2 to a maximum of 20. Nimble as a cat, you gain a plus 1 bonus to dexterity saving throws and also increase your jump distance by 5 feet. Cool little piece of armor right there. I don't know how good... I mean, getting your dexterity boost by two is good for any class, but... The jump distance may be best for, like, a barbarian or something. 
Whenever you deal damage with a weapon, the target receives a 1d4 penalty to its saving throw against your next spell. Okay, so those would be good for casters. And we have some potions of greater healing. Look at, I gotta do some major selling here. S sell a couple things real fast. I'm gonna do like the fine details of my inventory organization off stream. I'm just sell a few weapons real fast. A few things that stand out that are really easy that I know I don't want. So yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll sell Sorrow, too. Okay, and then we're going to pick up... Ooh, Dragon Fists. Your unarmed attacks deal additional 1 to 4 fire damage. Holy cow, those are some... Monk gloves right there. When the wearer deals cold damage, inflicts 2 turns of Encrusted with Frost. Whenever the wearer deals Acid, Cold, Fire, or Lightning with a spell or cantrip, they gain momentum. Under a smite. Okay, so I'm going to pick up... Actually, this one's kind of tough, because when you deal damage with a weapon attack... So as a caster, you're usually using, like, cantrips. So that makes it a little bit tougher to use. I'm just going to grab some Trap Disarm toolkits. Also going to grab a torch. Maybe these two potions... Maybe these potions, too. And the thieves' tools. And then we're looking pretty dang good. I'm also going to grab some dye. So I don't know what colors these are. Black and white dye. And deep lilac. So let's buy... Three of those. And three of the... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great. I do want to see what this is, too, but it's too expensive, so. Ooh, we could sell the Githyanki Greatsword, too, actually. Yankee Crossbow. I want to save some of these items, because I want to look at them a little bit more closely, and I haven't really had the chance to do that on this run. All right. Now, I believe you have places to be. I'm not getting involved in this. Gitty, you'd have become rather rich had you the proper set. It's tempting. Should you change your mind? You know where to find me. Definitely tempting to give her the egg, but I don't think it's the right call. And my character is not really like that. Especially as a ranger of the Misty Forest. Respects, generally respects life. Um, we're just going to leave, leave her on her way. We got her die right now. Let me go ahead and use one of these real fast. Whoa! <gasps> yes! That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about right there. I love kind of dull, simple colors. Nothing too extravagant. That's perfect. I love it. Can we do it with my helm too? Try. Oh, I guess we gotta exit out of it. Yes, man. Oh my god, I don't have any I don't have any boots on. What am I doing? Cool. Okay. Yeah, well you know what? We might as well just do the boots too while we're here. And that's how you get yourself an armor set. Dude, that looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Gal looks really good. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and die shadow heart My face protects me See green die <laughs> sure why not let's do it we should do multiple items at one time Oh sea green is actually really really cool Yeah, that's awesome So happy that they added this system let's see if we can do the shield we can it didn't do anything, though. That was a waste. What the heck? Okay, so we did that. Let's go ahead and do her... Her gloves actually look pretty good. We'll do her... Bo her boots are out of place. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, awesome. Uh, just a quick check on my image. I gotta get Gale a better staff here at some point. Usually not the best at keeping track of my gear. Unless the game is like insanely challenging. Like I'm doing another run on Tactician. And I'm gonna be much more motivated to make sure I look at every single item I pick up. But I'm not really in that habit right now. We're on balance. Okay. Let's um let's get on out of here. We're looking pretty good. Everybody's looking alright. Let's give Gale a crossbow though, just in case he needs one. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. These boots have seen everything. Oh, my guy looks so much cooler now. Just got to get a cape on him, and then we're good to go. No fast travel point up here? Okay, so this is the bridge that we couldn't get across. We're gonna go down here where we met Elminster. I don't know where Fern went. She's not with me though. Aw oh, man. Oh it's or lupus, I should say. Way back there. shadows oh man okay I think this might officially be act two but I'm not entirely sure Let's call this shadow shadows no one stopped me yet yep you're about to progress your adventure make sure to tidy up any loose ends So the mountain pass is basically like the Underdark in Act 1 is what I'm assuming. And we didn't really do the Underdark. It's like you usually go either or. or I guess you could go back and do both, technically. Okay. Let's, um... I'll just see if any of the companions have anything to say quickly. Let's ask... Gale? Walking freely out of a Githyanki crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me. I've seen quite a few. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything that they're really saying, so we'll rest. Oh, I forgot to get my cape. Who has the cape? What the heck? It's Kithrak. Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Wow. Don't trust him. Oh, man. Skakak Kia Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. All right, we're going to let Lazel take the lead. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. We are so deep into the Gith Yankee lore right now. What are you asking of us, Voss? I'm asking for your help and your trust. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected. Yet the one in the prism has chosen you. Protects you with their power. The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Vlakith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, 
You've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Wow. Blazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. Wow. And this is so crazy. If Lazel died in that Zathisk operation, if I didn't succeed on that 20 roll, we wouldn't be getting any of this content. And if I killed Kithrak Voss back in Act 1, this wouldn't be happening either. That's just crazy. I think I am leaning on his side here, though. I want to convince Lazel. I don't trust Vlacketh at all. Hmm. Damn. He speaks the truth of the Zathisk. You need to trust him, Lazel. I served Flacket the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles. Yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith. A psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Wow. I should go. Vlacketh's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. Vlakith cost seven hrath crash at. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlacketh. She has sinned against me. What a turning point here. Voss called Vlacketh a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I never thought Vlacketh a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, 
a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Gith Yankee is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. What does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the right of Ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. Who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. And if Voss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Vlakith's are real? Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yes, I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. You could do this like entire Githyanki crush without Lazel. You could have killed her in the beginning on your playthrough. It's just crazy and like how much would that change things? Incredible job out of Larian. Okay, let me see if Will has... Where is he? Where is everybody? Yeah. I'll... I don't see anybody here. Shadow's right there. Am I blind? No, they're just not rendering him. Okay, right, we'll just pretend he's in this tent. <laughs> Alright, but this is going to be a very, very good natural stopping point for this episode. But we will continue on with episode 11, part 2, and enter into the Shadow Cursed Lands, I believe, here momentarily. See you all soon. Welcome back. Let's push on. And a lot of you will be very happy. Well, let me crack this Red Bull real fast. Will be very happy to know that I organized my inventory. So take a look here. We got Lazel looking pretty clean here. Gale with his scrolls. I learned Scorching Ray. Shadowheart's not looking too bad, and then my main character, who has the most items, put everything into different backpacks. It doesn't look like you can name each backpack, unfortunately, but we're much more organized now, so let's go ahead and finish this rest and hopefully go to the Shadow Cursed Lands. We'll do that when we get into the actual world. Looking at it.
longest loading screen yet. This is no typical gloom. Need to stay alert. Uh, are you the true soul? Who wants to know? I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch. Stay out of the dark and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. We got an entirely new camp here. I love this. What I forgot to do was grab Will's Red Prince cape. But wow, look at this mini camp. Or maybe this is our official camp, actually. And Helson's back. Nice. This might actually be our official camp for Act 2. Not sure. Okay, we got Will right here. So let me quickly... He's got the cape. I don't think you can access their inventory unless you have them in your group. Which is unfortunate. Let me dismiss Shadow real fast. This place. If you're sure, fine. Can't slow down. We'll pull Will into our group. Cause I can die the Red Prince cape too. Hold close to the light. That. All right, Will, give me your cape. There we go. Yeah, now we look cooler right now. Okay, back to the Shadow Curse lands. Despite everything. Well met. Are you sure? The black and May the darkness protect you. Oh. Oh man. No way. Playtime's over. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. Forget it. This asset can rot in the towers for all I care. I'd start caring. And quick, sunshine. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. <laughs> I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses. And he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup. Or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Trust me. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Mazora. We'll rescue this asset if you release Will from his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Remember all you can about devils and their contracts. A little history check here.
apparently we don't know our history. Oh, I just... Okay. No, I didn't want to... Oh, man. What did I click on? I guess we're doing it again. I didn't mean to do that. That sucks. You can think of no way to void a devil's pact. Still can try this, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Man, I feel like this is going to be a high DC. We could always let the cult infect the asset. I bet they'd make a loyal thrall. Come on, game. Give me a good roll. You gotta be kidding me. Three failures in a row. Think again. Clause Z, section 13. The Lemur Clause. Could have sworn we covered this. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. All right, well, that was interesting. Unfortunate, though. This place. These shadows. I don't seem to be affected. Not as badly, anyway. Perhaps I shouldn't put it to the test, but... Compared to everyone else, I feel fine. Better than fine. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. So what does all this mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. You know, I was just thinking about you. Remembering our little encounter in the night. When you tried to bite me? The very same. It obviously put me off your neck, but now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. <laughs> <laughs> Not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. I wouldn't expect any volunteers either. Alas. It doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. I'd prefer a beer, if it's all the same to you. Yes. Heavens forbid we have an interesting conversation. <laughs> oh, Still, man. I am intrigued by the possibilities. Heavens forbid we have an interesting... Oh, man. Keep your eyes to yourself, Astarion. You'll make people nervous. Relax. We're just talking. So... In the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? You really asking which of our companions I'd eat? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be disgusting. I just mean a sip of their blood. No mastication required. Darion's freaking me out right now. We're done talking. What? I was only making conversation. Honestly, we have no sense of fun. Okay, I'm being nice to Astarion in my live stream series. Okay. Oh, wait. I almost... I gotta talk to somebody else. Everybody's got something to say about the Shadow Curse lands. Aw, these two are cute. God damn it. Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Will's relationship with Mazora is transactional. He helps her. She has to help him. This could end in our favor. 
Devils never lose. You know that, right? Sure, they'll give you a bit of tap here and there, but the house always wins. Like a casino. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Thought you were supposed to hunt devils, Will. Doesn't this violate your contract? The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. So you're bound to be a lemur, no matter what? Yes. Unless I find a way to free myself from my devil's talons. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> wow. All right, you know what? I'm actually going to have Karlak join my party. My feet can carry me. We're going to dismiss Lazel for a little bit. We have Lazel for the crash. I sought to reach a Githyanki crash and be rid of these. Chuck, you believe you can. Uh and we'll bring a barbarian back into our group. Do you feel that? I've never felt so cold. And that's me. This place will swallow us whole if we let it. Stick close to Mama K. Fuck yes. Mama K? <laughs> okay. Very well. I... Did I... I thought I just went to camp. I didn't need to take a... Is it nighttime right now? I'm so confused. Hold on. Alright, let's just do partial rest. The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. Oh, damn. You could have helped the people in the Grove, but what then? The cultist's influence is growing by the day, and the road to Baldur's Gate is long. Your efficiency is to be commended. I... See, I don't... I thought I did help the people in the grove. Because I, I finished the goblin camp, and then I rested, and Helson visited me. And I never had a chance to talk to Zevlor. So I, th I seriously think the game might have might have glitched out on me back then. Something something didn't go through that was supposed to. So let's just say I'm not proud of leaving people behind. I wish I'd helped. For what it's worth, you made the right choice. If we don't accomplish our goals, none of this matters. Not their fate. Not anyone's. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. What is it? <sighs> the voice of the Absolute. Stronger this time. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. She needs comfort. We're gonna say nothing right now. I don't think I trust this guardian figure. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. My transformation? Yes. But the orders are oddly erratic, as if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. 
In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Did you steal the power to protect us from the Absolute? I stole it from Blacketh. Her continued rule depends on it. As long as the Absolute exists, I am trapped within the prism. I can only control the power from here. We must make sure Blacketh never gets her hands on the prism. Nor the Absolute. Unfortunately, they are both dedicating more and more resources to retrieving it. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. This is crazy. This is a this is a dream I or I didn't even mean to go to camp. I just went to camp to switch my cloak and all of this just happened. Freaking crazy. So yeah, so I think the game messed up a little bit. Um back in, I don't know, episode four or five or something like that. We went to the goblin camp, we killed all the goblin leaders. And then I was returning to meet up with Helsin and tell Zevlor that the roads are safe for his people. And I took a long rest, and then when I woke up, everybody was gone out of the Druid's Grove. So the way we can make this still make sense RP-wise is, let's say that my ranger wanted to help out, or at least was interested in investigating the Goblin Fortress, and decided to kill the Goblin leaders, as it would be the right call for everyone. And let's say that I ended up taking that long rest, and I took way too long to go tell Zevlor about what I did. And because of that, him and his people left. And uh, maybe Zevlor was requesting my help on the road to Baldur's Gate, more so than what he requested with the goblin leaders. I don't know, something like that. We can make it make sense. No, never mind. All right, let's get out of here. So Shadowheart can go in here with nothing affecting her. Now let's take Arlac, send her up without a torch. Nothing's happening. Oh. oh man. Okay, the Shadow Curse is a powerful threat that lurks and devours in the darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid its most lethal effects. We're in turn-based mode right now. Wow. Without a light source, you'll take necrotic damage every turn. This damage doubles each turn you're affected by the Shadow Curse. Oh. Cool thing is, Shadow Heart's Mace actually emits light too. Is this just any old tor torch? It must be. Yeah, it's any old torch. We'll do that and we'll give one to Carlac. Hong Kong. And if I had the light cantrip, that would also help here. And we don't have another torch, so Gal's just gonna have to stick close to Shadowheart. They don't have the light cantrip. And what spells you take and what cantrips you take make a big difference in how you're forced to play the game. Wow, look at this, dude. This is crazy. 
Okay, we reached the Shadow Curse Lands. The Dream Visitor told us to go to Moonrise Towers and infiltrate the Cult of the Absolute. Cult secrets may teach us how to free ourselves with these parasites. The deadly Shadow Curse shrouds this land. Light is needed to protect us from the darkness. We discuss. We discover that Shadowheart possesses a certain amount of resistance to the ill effects of the Shadow Curse. It seems this must be due to Shar's patronage. But given the mercurial nature of the Dark Goddess, the extent of her protection remains to be seen. Mizora appeared in the form of a projection to inform us that the Absolute Cult abducted an infernal asset of some importance to the Archdevil Zariel. To find and release them, Will's very soul hangs in the balance. So many quests all coming together. This beast didn't go down without a fight. I feel like this is going to be real tough without dancing lights. <laughs> that Lathander weapon is really coming in handy, and I actually should give it to somebody else besides Shadowheart, but... One-handed mace. My rolls are horrible today. There we go. Just for seven gold. I'll go this way. This place looks crazy, dude. Everything is rotten, too. A pile of belongings forsaken to the curse so that their owners could escape with their lives. Something's going to be happening here in a second. Yeah. The half orc. In Kansif. Ready when you are, true soul. Anything you need. But how much farther can I go? True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? Why do you need a liar exactly? We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her liar to summon a guide through the darkness. I admit. I'm surprised the true soul does not know this. Where are you headed, exactly? Interesting. We, I do think I have Minthara's liar in my inventory. I do have this liar, if that's any help. Ah, you do have it. Then pluck a tube, and our guide will come scuttling. Wow. <laughs> Not a chance in how I get this. Holy crap. It 
It's a drider. Yes. I hear them, your majesty, calling us their god and their guide together. Now that's what I call an abdomen. Greetings, in the absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. <laughs> New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to her true soul. We gotta play this carefully. Hey, look at the hyena right here. Arnest is the name. I'm actually gonna save this. We're gonna call this Rider. And you? What are you? More faithful of the Absolute. They need a guide to the Tower. Same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice. The Absolute. Or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. one of the coolest characters I've ever seen. Why do I need you to get to Moonrise? What's out there? Oh, the drow really told you nothing, eh? Here, this will tickle ya. We can actually help the goblin. I mean, this is not my place and time to interfere. Not a fan of either of them. Peace! Stop it! We do not toy with the dark. Do they understand? We understand. Now we need to go. <sighs> Bloody right we do. Yes, yes. Huh? We shall go. Your light leads the way, my queen. Are all ready? What the hell is this hiding in there? Things best avoided. Shadows lurking in shadows. Now, will they follow or stay? Okay, I think it's probably a good idea. I mean, we got to get to Moonrise to figure this out. It's probably a good idea if we use this guy to guide us right now. Lead on. Bless us again, Majesty. Shine your light. Protect us. Come, follow, and stay close. Do not leave the light. Do not feed the shadows. You heard him. Move out! We met a drider who worships the Absolute. He can lead us to Moonrise Towers. We watched the Shadow Curse lands. Okay. We need to stay close to the drider in order to reach Moonrise Towers. We met a drider who carries a Moon Lantern that protects him from the Shadow Curse. If we get one for ourselves, we'll be able to travel the deepest parts of the Curse unharmed. Okay, so it seems like the Moon Lantern's the thing that's actually important here, not the drider itself. Hmm. Okay. What a disgusting creature. 
don't think it's a good time to get into combat at this moment. So let's follow the Dryder. Will the Dryder come up here? Nope. Where are we going, Dryder? Return to the light. Do not stray. Okay, here we go. Kind of hard to follow the damn thing. All right, what now? You taking me, buddy, or what's going on here? Okay, so it was bugged out. What I did was I dismissed my wolf, and now it's working. So if any of you guys have that bug, the animal companion was uh, messing things up, and now it looks like the guy's moving, so. Let me go ahead and... What was I using for Karlak's weapon? Great Axe plus one. Okay. Light yep. feet. We're good now. The animal companions seem to cause some problems in this game. Which is unfortunate because I'm playing a beast master. <laughs> but we'll deal with that. Return. They must keep up. The shadows are hungry. Damn man, if we take his lantern, I we can explore everything. Wow, it, no my gosh, it's a freaking Harper. Holy crap. It's a Harper. The Harper's faction. Wow. All right, so it's at this moment in time that my character noticed the Harper's seal. Looking down upon us. And this is when he decided to turn on the Dryder. Oh, I guess we're getting a cutscene. Something's wrong, Majesty. Who's there? Show yourself! Harper's attack! Kill the cultists! Oh man! Get that lantern! Halatax! Villains in the dark! These Harpers are clearly enemies of the Absolute. They could be worthwhile allies. But defend the guide and you may preserve your cover as a true soul. Wow. No, as a ranger from the Misty Forest, who has a troubled past, he still recognizes a good faction when he sees one. And the Harpers have helped out Wolf many times. Let's go ahead and turn on the caravan and attack the Dryder. What are they doing? We thought they were true souls! Traitors! Aliens! Damn, he went right after Gale. What difficulty am I on? Okay, we're still on balance. Just gotta double check. Right after my caster. Perfect. Okay, so who are we going to focus on first here? Hmm, let's do Cloud of Daggers right here. What does Cloud of Daggers level 3 do? A lot more damage. Wow, I can get five of them. Incredible. Shadow, nor death. No god. Well, this is fun. Okay, 
Okay, we're just gonna hold our ground with Shadow Hearts. Nice, we got the teleport ability. Sanctuary. Okay, so somebody cast Sanctuary on the Drider. I was wondering what that was. So who is the caster of Sanctuary? Or do they cast it on themselves? And you cast Sanctuary on yourself. Take a look at the description. You or an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature and still take damage from area spells. Until the affected entity attacks or harms another creature, it cannot be targeted by enemy attacks. Interesting. Okay, so I guess... Carsness or whatever his name is is casting that on himself. Could be wrong, maybe I'm missing something here, but... Looks like we can't attack, so... But we can also probably get away without taking an opportunity attack with Karlak. Let me see if I can get over here. Perfect. And I'm also going to move Shadow back. Awesome. Uh-oh, we got a Wolfheart Barbarian here. Everybody look out. Everybody's gonna have advantage on their attacks. Come on. See ya. Okay, it's just the Drider now. Wolf's getting kind of low on HP. I should probably stay behind Karlak for this next attack, so let's back up a little bit. Oh man, wow. Yeah, that would have killed Wolfheart for sure. Wish I had my animal companion out right now. Okay, no more Sanctuary. Wait, still Sanctuary? Back to Entity can't receive Sanctuary. Okay, that's what it is, all right. Let's go ahead and... I wonder if I used Cloud of Daggers again, if it would just stay right in that area. If I was an evocation wizard, I could just freaking blast a fireball. You know what I forgot to do was raise raise the undead with my Necromancer. We're going to do another Cloud of Daggers. And do level 3 and put it right on top of this Drider and see if this Drider is able to move. I'll try to block him in there. Okay, and then we'll back up a little bit. Target's out of sight. We'll give Bless to... Let's give Bless to one of the Harpers here. Oh, who did I miss? Oh, the wolf heart's a little bit too far. Hold on, let's move up a little bit. We'll give it to me. Wolf. Harper Branthos. And also Karlak. And then we'll back up. and kick some ass. Yeah, I was trying to block him in here so he can't really move away from the Cloud of Daggers.
Nice. Not sure what that attack was, but okay. Oh, nice. I got damage. Wow. You serious, man? Cast Sanctuary again. Gots to be kidding me. We can still do AoE spells. We don't really have any with her. We'll try a charm person. <laughs> Runs a creature from attacking you. Okay. What about Bestow Curse? Would that work on a... Nope. Sanctuary just prevents all that. Look at this attack that I have. Sunbeam. A beam of brilliant light sears and blinds all creatures in its path. Oh, wow. I can do this. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Check out this Lathander Mace. Try to get it so it doesn't hit my friendlies here. Whoa. Succeeded in the save, but that was that was really cool. 10 radiant damage. And it works against Sanctuary because it's like an AoE. But succeeded in the Constitution save, so still concentrating on Sanctuary. Okay, please attack Karlak. Please. Nothing we can do here. What about a cleave, though? Could do a cleave. Awesome. It's like an, an attack on area. That's all we can do. Oh, I was in the Cloud of Daggers? Didn't even realize that. Okay, Sanctuary should be done now. Nice, nice attack. Harper Manus. It's time to end this creature once and for all. Incredible. A light so radiant, not even the curse can dim it. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. You don't move a god's damn muscle. Talk. Why in the hells would a cultist turn on her kind? Arlac's talking right now, so I could RP that. Man. I'm not one of them. They took me prisoner. I don't want to tell these guys yet that I have a parasite. A prisoner? And I must be a welcome sight indeed. Follow me. I know a refuge from the darkness. You can rest there. What sort of refuge do you mean? An inn. Last light, it's called. A place you can sigh without the shadow beasts hearing. Lead on. Let the lantern's light be your guide. I'll mark your map should you lose the way.
Cruel Sting. The 1d10, the versatile weapon. You can use it one-handed or two-handed. A drow elf wielding this weapon deals an additional 1 to 4 poison damage against restrained targets. And then it also gives you the ensnaring strand spell alongside it. So a nice little synergy going on there. And it's a drow weapon. Super cool. Okay, everybody also leveled up. So this is... Level 6 for the first time ever. Let me create a save point. And this is where we get the undead feature for Gale. So let's go ahead and see what that's all about. This is the reason why I chose the Necromancer subclass. Not for the Grim Harvest, even though that can help. When you use Animate Dead, you can raise an additional corpse. Undead Thralls, better summons. Creatures created with Animate Dead have an additional have additional hit points equal to your wizard level and your proficiency bonus is added to their damage. And we also get the spell too, if you don't already have it. Not sure if it's prepared at all times, but... Okay, and we get to choose two spells. Wow, okay. Let's see here. But we're still choosing level three spells. Not till next level where we get access to more. Let's see. What do we want here to kind of fit this necrotic build that we got going? I'm really starting to feel like I need like some utility. Blink, at the end of your turn, roll a d20. On 11 or higher, you vanish into the ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world. When you do vanish, your presence here is a representation of the location you'll come back to. Whoa! That sounds super cool. Hope I can find a... S Man. Also, counterspell, too. Might not be a bad idea to have that. Fleet Storm, remove curse. Let's see here. I feel like I might have to take something like knock. Unlock an object that is held shut by a mundane lock. Since I don't have really lock picking in my group. So I'm going to take a utility spell. And then my other spell is going to be... Let's see here. Glyph of Warding is so, so good. Counter spell is good too, though. Man. I think I'm going to take Counter Spell, to be quite honest with you. Gaseous Form. So many good spells in this list here. So many good spells. Alright, I'm going to take... Knock and then also counter spell. So defensive spell and a utility spell. Let's take a quick look at those right now. I also have haste too. I keep forgetting that I have that. Here it is. So knock. And then we also have counter spell. So let's go ahead and prepare counter spell. Also want fireball though too. We got misty step. Let's get rid of do, 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 do. ray of sickness is good to have in case I do have to heal myself. If I'm gonna kill an enemy, I might as well use an necrotic spell. Okay, I like that a lot. Go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, nothing too special about knock until we come up to a chest. And then counter spell should just be. A reaction. So if we go into our reactions here. Oh, interesting. Oh, there it is right there. Yep. So make a creature fail when it casts a spell. Spells of third level or higher can always be interrupted. So we're going to have it. We'll leave it on ask because it does cost a spell slot. And we'll leave shield on ask as well. Hmm. That's pretty defensive having both of these spells available. 
Alright. The counter spell can be used to defend the entire group, while shield is is used to defend Gale specifically. I wonder if it'd be better if I just kept counter spell on. I don't know. All right, so what do we get here as a level six trickster cleric? One more channel divinity charge. Haven't been using her channel divinities too much. The trickster cleric ones aren't necessarily as powerful as the other ones. And then yeah. We're looking pretty good here. Spirit Guardians, Animate Dead, Beacon of Hope. Thinking about getting rid of Animate Dead with her. Mass Healing Word, I gotta start using. Let's grab Glyph of Warding. Probably prepare Spiritual Weapon again. I keep forgetting about some of these spells. Like, Enhance Ability could have helped me quite a lot in the past. With ability checks. Okay. <sighs> Level 6 Barbarian. We get Bolstering Magic Boon. You are an ally. Receive a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and ability checks. Class action. Okay, it's kind of like Bless, but I, I think it probably stacks with Bless. Bolstering Magic, level 1 spell slot. You are an ally. Recover a level 1 spell slot. So this is kind of like a nice uh, support wild magic barbarian feature. Help one of your wizards recover a spell slot. Or you can help one of your melee characters have a higher attack roll. And then also recover a level 2 spell slot. Interesting. And we get an additional rage charge. In level six. Beastmaster Ranger, we get to choose another favored enemy. All right, so let's see here. Gain proficiency in investigation. Creatures you hit with ensnaring strike have disadvantage. So we're not really using ensnaring strike with this build. You specialize in hunting creatures from other planes of existence. You gain proficiency in Arcana and can cast protection from good and evil. Protection from good and evil protects an evil protects an ally against attacks of aberrations, celestials, elemental, phase, fiends, and undead. Target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. And when these creatures attack it, they have disadvantage. It's not it's a pretty good spell. You gotta remember that you have it. Magebreaker, you have proficiency in battling spellcasters. You gain proficiency in Arcana and can cast True Strike. And then Sanctified Stalker. You swore to hunt the enemies of a holier druidic order. You gain proficiency in religion and can cast Sacred Flame. Hmm. True Strike sucks because it requires concentration, but... I don't know if I... I think this is more so coming down to what proficiencies I want right now. Protection from good and evil might be the most useful spell that I can get out of all these. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab that. So we're going to grab Keeper of the Veil. Vale. And for Natural Explorer, let's go ahead and take... I feel like I want to mess with the familiars. They might be able to get in places. But the animal companion can't. Or we could take resistance to cold or poison, which could be quite, quite useful. Alright, I'm going to take find familiar. Cast it as a ritual. And then see if I can have my familiar out alongside my animal companion. If I can't... I'm probably going to... Let me let me create a save point. I'm not going to take that, but I want to test that skill out for a second. And dude. Shadow Curse lands are awesome. And we're going into a Harper... Refuge place here. Okay, you know what? I take it back. I actually am going to... 
I am going to take Wasteland Wander Poison. Get resistance to poison because I am kind of playing like a tank ranger. So I think that's more useful. Okay. Oh, that helped. Oh, time to get going. I didn't have my animal companion for that fight either because the animal companion is causing all the NPCs to say shoo and run around like madmen, so. Nice. It's bugged out a little bit. Pretty unfortunate if you play a Beastmaster because, like, that's a big part of your, your class. So hopefully Larian fix that soon. There's not anything in here to loot. Let's go down here. I might need some camp supplies. Everything is rotten in this forsaken place. Everything is rotten. Wow, this is actually pretty far. Last Light Inn is really far away from where I'm at right now. Go check this out. Oh man, what are these creatures? Holy crap. Measles. And there's a potter's chest key. What happens when I take it? Something weird going on in here. Whoa. Holy crap. What is that place? Chance I might get thrown into combat here. Here's the chest. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I thought I might be... Maybe I should have done that with Featherfall. Oh, interesting. I would, I would be interested in wondering if Featherfall would have prevented them from hearing me. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Okay, did I just get teleported away? A tale for the ages. 68 HP! Holy crap! Oh, I wish I was an evocation wizard. I could just fireball this entire area. I forgot to raise the dead, too. I forgot to raise the dead. Damn it, man. Okay. It's going to be tricky. Well, I think we're going to help out Wolf first. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, can I use animate dead in combat? Okay, so let's go ahead and see. 80%, 80%. Sleep level three, 40 hit points. Damn, man. Okay, we might be in a bit of a, might be in a bit of a situation here. It's gonna focus fire down one of them. Perfect. I'm gonna have advantage on the next attack. Then we'll switch over to Wolf. Unfortunately, I don't have my weapon out right now, so that's gonna cost an action. 
Nope, I don't even have an action. Okay. Can't do anything with wolf. Take shadow. Love to help out over there, but unfortunately I can't. So let me go ahead and do, 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 do spiritual weapon. Okay, beautiful. You want to do bless on my character, but ooh, whiff of warding is just so good. Sixty percent chance to get hold person on that character. Yes, 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 yes. That's awesome. Oh, shite. The shadow curse. Oh, man, 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 man. I gotta stay near the light. Look at that. In this light, there is shelter from the shadows. Wow, this is crazy. We really got to stay together. Keep forgetting that I have Saluna's Dream on. Can fall asleep though using that. All right, so we have, uh, let's see here. You are an ally receive 1d4 bonus to attack rolls or recover a level two spell slot. Let's try that out. Have to be quite close actually. Let's do it with Shadow. How many spell slots? So Shadow has no level two spell slots. Let's go. And now she should have one. Oh, that's amazing. So cool. And bear with me, everyone, as this is all new to me. So, you know, there's a lot to take in. So I'm probably going to make quite a few mistakes and forget to use certain spells. But that's all part of the fun on the first run. So it's exploring and discovering all this. A little bit worried about raging this far out. But what's done is done. All right, so we have the tentacles. Come on up. I dare you. Now, spiritual weapon will actually create light around my characters, which is pretty awesome. Oh, I forgot mage armor. Damn. Did I forget to precast my spells? I think I did. Okay, so I'm still a believer in focus fire. So let's go ahead and... This guy's got 40 HP. I could try to sleep him. Actually might not be a bad idea. Target's out of sight. What happens if I move up here and then Misty step away? Or actually, I got a good idea. We can go in any order of the turns that we want. So let's go ahead and move Shadow. there move her up to the edge and now we can cast probably bless oh let's move Carlac up a little bit damn it that's prone right there move Carlac up just a little bit now let's go back to shadow spiritual weapon doesn't require concentration which is why it's so damn good so let's do bless level two Beautiful. Okay, and we'll come up here. Let's try this again. Okay, we have two. Oh, he got out of the whole person. I need my animals to get extra attack. I think that comes at level nine. Okay, we got to get Carlac down here somehow actually tempted to have her just hold off these guys in the distance but let's do that it doesn't look like I can get down there without going prone interesting can jump to here though so prone not prone
Okay. You know what? We'll just help out. I've got it. Stay on that focus fire. Okay, we're out of that. Now it's time to kick ass. So many potions. Shadow teleport. Oh, wow. What is that? 3 to 18 damage per turn. Effect entity is being strangled by Garrett. Silenced and takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage per turn. Damn, dude. These things are freaking crazy. Okay. Bye forever, pal. Okay. We're not really doing much, much here. They're not really doing much. Nice, 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 nice. Damn, dude, these things are tough. This guy's back up, too. Should have used Arcane Recovery before the fight. If I had my zombies, this would help a lot. also dark down there too now these things can teleport you around it's crazy Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna save my healing words. Teleport crap is insane. Wow, I'm so far away. <laughs> Literally nobody's here anymore. Roll a misty step would be nice right about now. I do have some pretty powerful scrolls here that I'm saving because I can't learn them yet until I am able to learn higher level spells. Confusion. They both- are you kidding me? They both succeeded on the save? You gotta be kidding me. I just used up a freaking scroll and didn't even get- oh. Alright, this is rough, dude. And disadvantage, because it's freaking dark down there. The shadow curse is about to come in. Whoo! Oh, 
okay, 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 okay. It's gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna hold my ground over here and try to get my companions back over this way. Wish I got ready in action right now. So yeah, we're just gonna hold our ground. Take a shot. Might be able to finish one of these off. Come on, just need a little bit more damage. Alright, so this is a little bit... Well, that certainly helps make things a little bit easier. And we're back just like that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we gotta watch out for the Shadow Curse, though. I know, the Shadow Curse hurts, man. I know it hurts. damage from the shadow curse what so this garroted thing is really bad against casters because you're silenced you can move far away to get away from it can't even shove the guy Nice! 30% chance of that landing, and it landed. Let's go! Burn these damn things. I'm gonna have nightmares. Still didn't die, are you serious? I gotta pick up some more throwing weapons. I die from the freaking shadow curse. Get everybody together. Okay, all right, we should be good now. Whoo! That was that was intense. Didn't get that much XP out of it either. Mm. Almost dead right now. Let's go explore that chest though. Still breathing, despite everything.
Luminous gloves, radiant orb. When the wearer deals radiant damage, receive one turn of radiant, radiating orb. Affected entity has minus one to attack rolls per remaining turn. It also sheds bright light in an area surrounding it. When the wearer deals radiant damage, receive one turn of radiating orb. Hmm. Hey, we got an idol of Saluna. Mood Maiden. Protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Helfred, in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name, Last Light, not be poured. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Saluna Idol, really? Are you in need <laughs> of a paperweight? Nice. Funny. We have this entire area over here. This makes me think of like BG2. Bodhi's area. And at Catla. Oh man. Definitely should take a long rest. Maybe before we go to the actual... It looks like this place is actually quite far away. This last light in. And actually this episode is going on for... Very long right now. It's actually half back in the mountain pass and half in the shadow cursed lands this has been quite the interesting episode so far so thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you on episode 12 as we head towards the last light harper refuge i have a feeling that we're going to meet some uh iconic characters <laughs>